Hello and welcome to the So Quick Aeroponic Tower build video. This is the first of three videos on how to build the system shown in our Kickstarter. Check the notes below for more detailed information and let's get started. The So Quick Tower uses 6 inch SDR35 PVC pipe. There are several kinds of this pipe. We use D3034, which is a little bit thicker so that it blocks the lights from the roots. One end of the pipe has a bell that's about six inches long. Because of the taper, if you cut five and three quarter inches off the bell end, that'll leave enough room for two 58 inch pieces for your tower system. Actually, for two tower systems. The tower uses two six inch mailing tube caps for the ends. In order to fit them, you need to grind out uh, a little more than a sixteenth of an inch inside of each of the ends of the pipe in for about half an inch. The top cap serves as an extra spot to start four plants, and the bottom cap serves to stabilize the tower inside the water reservoir. The tower needs to be drilled to hold 16 holes for plants and 8 holes for sprayers. A template allows you to mark the tube so that it's more easy to drill. You can use the printed line on the PVC pipe as a vertical line. You line up one of the uh, two inch holes on that and as you move it down 10 inches between the holes there's six inches from the top to the first set of holes and then 10 inches between the holes as you go down. It's helpful to have a fixture to hold the pipe while you're cutting it. You can just make it out of some scrap wood and also you need to make a test T which uh, allows you to check the size of the holes that you're drilling for the sprayers. The sprayers press into holes drilled into the side of the main column. The rubber gasket on the T seals the hole so that it doesn't leak mist or water. The taper drill is especially good for drilling plastic. And the test T can be used to check a snug fit on the holes as they're being drilled. You can use a spade bit which has a nice point which doesn't walk in order to pre-drill the holes so that it's easier to drill the larger holes. When drilling plastic with a hole saw, believe it or not, it helps to put the drill in reverse. If you try drilling in the forward direction it will grab the plastic but in reverse it slowly wears it away and it's much easier to cut. The plant holes is a two inch PVC pipe sleeve made from standard whole house vacuum pipe. The so quick only requires about 10 liters of water. It uses a standard 3.5 gallon bucket filled about 80% full. As usual you can pre-drill the lid with the spade bit to make it more easy to align the hole saw. There's usually a molding mark at the very center of the lid. It turns out that the hole saw normally used for drilling ceiling lights is the perfect size to fit the 6 inch column pipe. This saw is available at Amazon.com. Remember, drill in reverse, or you'll have a lot harder time drilling. A hole in the lid allows the column to go through the top of the bucket and seat on one of the mailing tube ends that's fastened to the bottom of the bucket. The inside edge needs to be sanded to provide enough clearance for the rubber grommet. The hole uses about 21 and a half inches of rubber grommet. Press the grommet around the inside edge of the hole and when the ends meet, you can cut it to length. After pre-drilling with the spade bit, drill the final quarter inch hole with one of the taper drills. The template that's used to drill the top for the four plant holes can also be used to find the center of the end cap for drilling the bottom. After pre-drilling with the spade bit, drill the final quarter inch hole with one of the taper drills. Taper drills are actually available in a set of three from Harbor Freight for about $8. They call them stepless drills. The bottom end cap is mounted to the inside bottom of the bucket using a stainless steel quarter 20 one inch long screw and rubber sheet is used to waterproof the connection. Make the rubber gaskets by taking about a one by one piece of 16th inch thick rubber, folding it into quarters and cutting a slight bit off of the exposed corner. That makes a hole that the screw can go through. 
Make a second one by one square and cut the corner off just like the first and that will be used to seal the inside of the bucket. The head of the screw is extra wide to provide large compression surface to seal against the bottom of the bucket. Use a quarter twenty nut to fasten the screw to the bottom of the bucket. The screw should be tightened as much as possible to make sure that it doesn't leak. An extra piece of the rubber hose used for the sprayers provides additional sealing. Use another quarter twenty nut to tighten the end cap against the rubber tube and the bottom of the bucket. Use a second nut to lock the first nut in place. The bottom of the pipe sitting on the mailing tube end fastened to the bottom of the bucket stabilizes it so that it doesn't shake around. A hole in the lid allows the column to go through the top of the bucket and seat on one of the mailing tube ends that's fastened to the bottom of the bucket. The lid may take a little persuasion to mount onto the bucket, but once you're done, you can slide in the column and check the fit. We've still got a little bit more work to do on the top of the lid, but just to give you an idea of what the system's going to look like, we're going to put it together and slide the column in. Spraying a little water on the pipe or wetting down the inside of the grommet will make the pipe slide in more easily. So that's the end of the first part of our SoQuick tower system build. I hope you liked it and stay tuned for more.